Hey everybody! You know the drill. Random run. Welcome back to Northern Lion Place, the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Five is Blue Baby! Five is Blue Baby. So we are gonna go this, this, this. One, two, three, four, five. Everybody in the car, so come on, let's ride to the liquor store around the corner. The boys say they want some gin and juice, but I really don't want a VC671PXZ. That is far too fast for me to write down that seat effectively when I put it on YouTube. What a smart guy, making my own job harder. Way to go, Dick Cheese. It's been a little while since we played as Blue Baby. Of course, Blue Baby was like uh, a constant for a while. Blue Baby was showing up like every run, every second run. Well, I guess technically every third run, but you know what I mean. Like every second, second run. Definitely should not have taken damage there. Um, but I, I don't mind it. It's been a little while since we've had Blue Baby, and uh, I'm happy to jump back into it here. And a Blue Baby run's always a nice little mixture of, uh, of danger and intrigue, if you will. All we gotta do is not take dumb damage like the damage I already took on this floor, and we should be in a pretty good spot. Looking to replace our space bar item, pick up as many spirit hearts as possible. Of course, there was a tinted rock uh, a room or so ago, so if I could actually get maybe one more um, bomb, that would go a long way. But right now, I'm just trying to avoid the easiest way for us to die on this floor or the next floor, which is just stacking up basically stupid damage. Over and over and over. Yes, that would have been stupid damage if I had taken damage there. You are not incorrect. Voice inside of my head that says, what are you doing? Why are you kicking the bombs? I don't know, man. One day, one day I'll learn. Till then, tramps like us, baby, we were born to run. I am going to try to use uh, the tower card. Normally, when you place it, like here, you get uh, one bomb that lands there for sure. By that, I mean I don't know what I'm talking about. We took half a spirit heart of damage. And we took a full spirit heart of damage to gain a bomb and a spirit heart. So in a weird way, that was good. But thank God it paid out with a spirit heart. Otherwise, we could be at one and a half right now. And being at one and a half from three on the basement is just goddamn terrible. Like, that's just a, that's just a colossal disaster, basically. So... Very lucky, I think, that we found ourselves in a bit of a safer position and, and got the payout that, let's be honest, we would expect to get. But still, you don't always get it, so that's okay. A little sloppy play here right off the cut. We can't afford to do that uh, too much as Blue Baby, or we're going to find ourselves in a real tricky spot. Good stuff. We can always use uh, one bomb to get a bomb there. It's actually a trade that is not terrible because of the fact that we uh, could find a crawl space. I mean, the worst case scenario is we break even. Well, the, technically, the worst case scenario is I fuck up the bomb or something or hurt myself with it, which is, uh, there's precedent for. Let's just put it that way. Come on, let me get the five cents. Gimpy. Gimpy is completely acceptable. At least it's not one of those uh, items that gives us literally no benefit because we're Blue Baby. This one actually gives us literally a benefit because we're Blue Baby. Makes our, uh, the mask doesn't line up perfectly with our face. I think I'd, I'd be the first to uh, agree with you on that one. However, this is okay. I'm saving my bomb, just in case we end up fighting uh, Duke of Flies. We'll really want to have that bomb. Well, okay. Good stuff. We did uh, half damage to Duke of Flies right off the bat. Not quite as much as I would have expected, and Duke of Flies can be very, very annoying if you don't have uh, the ability to take him out super quickly with bombs, but he actually doesn't seem that tanky, or maybe, like, this champion's... Almost got tagged there. This champion's uh, strength is that... He's tanky, but super slow. This scares me, as I think it should. Speed up is, of course, uh, of course, good. The pill could be amazing. We don't know that yet. We've got no arcade on the next floor. We're lucky enough to be on the basement, which I'm super pleased with. Um, but we're not going to use our pill yet. Time will tell whether that speed upgrade is awesome or uh, god-awful. But for now, I'm pretty pleased to have had it. Now, bomb. Key. Also very useful, but uh, now what we need immediately. You're going to have to forgive me for... Speaking predominantly uh, about the game for the time being, we are in the danger zone. You know, we're, we're going to get a deal with the devil on this floor. If we pick up like a nine lives, that sets us up pretty pretty nicely for the rest of the game. If we pick up uh, enough spirit hearts so we can take a, a high damage deal or something like that. You know, like a mom's knife, that's fine. A pact, uh, mark, maybe not mark. Ceremonial robes, though, would definitely be on my list. Um, maybe this pill ends up being balls of steel and I panic hit Q and it ends up giving us an awesome payout. I don't know. Also not a bomb, but we're really only one bomb or one key away from being able to get that Tinted Rock, probably. And I do have to say probably. Just to hedge my bets a little bit. 
item room is available up here. This room sucks, and I hate it. Just too many uh, shots to pay attention to at all times. No tinted rocks on it. Um, we'll definitely use our key for the item room here. Did not mean to get so close, and luckily I did not get hit. It's looking pretty solid, but you never know when one nasty room's gonna poke its head up. Strange Attractor. One of the few items still left in the game that I just will not take unless we get like a certain... I don't know, a certain je ne sais quoi, if you will. For now, I don't think I can really justify it. I also don't think I can really justify that, to be honest with you. Uh, the boss room, that is. I think I've gotta try to do as much exploration as possible first. There is another tinted rock here. All we need is one bomb, and we can start the Harlem River Quiddy... <laughs> Qu That's what I tried to quote Camp Low and messed it up. Thank you! Thank you! Even though you did not give me um, the spirit heart like I might have wanted, you might have given me even more. Uh, never mind. This sucks. We're pretty close to being able to buy a blank card. What are we gonna do with blank card, though? We don't have any cards. I recognize that we could get cards in the future. Um, for now, I just want Spirit Hearts. Small Rock would be a nice consolation prize. Try here, maybe we can get a Crawl Space. Wow! That's a huge disappointment. But, I mean, it keeps paying out, but it's still a huge disappointment. Um, do we want Blank Card instead of the Poop? Maybe? Maybe? Maybe definitely? Oh, I gotta go back this way. Um, sure, why not? I mean, it's not like, there's no spirit heart for sale on here, which is just blowing me away, but there's seven cents. I really do not want to take the pill yet. See if maybe we get super lucky. Well, this should be interesting. I'm assuming that the, the smart money here is probably on a deal with the devil that is too expensive for us to take. It'll kill us to take it. Um, of course, if we get like Judas' Shadow or something like that, it could be awesome. Yes, I know there's a card back there. I do plan to walk diagonally to see if it, uh... To see if it's something we want to take. Just a little risky before the boss fight, and you know, Dingle is, uh... Is not a pushover. It's one of the more difficult bosses on the first floor. Or, you know, first series of floors. Yeah, that's right. Just keep doing your attack there, summon a couple dips. Not the end of the world for me, as long as I can control your movement, it makes my life easy. Let's just get these guys murdered. Want to take care of them as soon as possible, because they really uh, mess with your mobility. You know, when you got like seven dips on the screen, it's just another thing to think about. You know, and the more cal... That guy migrated all the way up from the top right corner to get down to me. I am amazed. The more calculations you got per second, the, the harder your life is going to be on this dingle fight. So at this point, I'm just hoping, you know, I don't, I don't really care... Um, what we get, but I hope it's survivability based. If not, we're gonna be in a little bit of a tricky position, and we've done the hard part now. Come on, come on, work with me. I desire it. That's HP. We can take ceremonial robes, it won't kill us, it shouldn't kill us. I had a brief flash in my heart of the streak ending there because of that, but uh, I think we got super lucky that we had an item like that in our shops, or in our uh, deal with the devil. Blank card fool. It's not good, but it's not awful. There are some things we can do with this, and boss rush is one of them if we're fast enough, but uh, it, it's not complete garbage. It might look like, you might be like, oh, what's the most useless card in the game? The fool. Well, you can use that as much as you want. But the ability to teleport out of uh, mob trap rooms, boss trap rooms, saves us a lot of time. Gives us a better chance of doing boss rush, which is probably the holy grail for the fool card. Saves spirit hearts by teleporting out of curse rooms. Uh, all sorts of good stuff along those lines. Still pissed that we didn't get... I mean, it actually worked out right, but I'm still pissed that our deal with the devil was not... Or sorry, our, our shop didn't have a spirit heart in it. Oh well, though. We're done. We, we've at least survived and we picked up... Uh, an actually pretty excellent item for us in the future. Haven't always been the hugest fan of ceremonial robes, but it's pretty much always a guaranteed take. That's amazing. And balls of steel will be very helpful. And now uh, we took a chance on it, now we know it's in the rotation, which is beautiful. And of course the other thing is, you know, we don't need the roll blank card fool. We could, oh Jesus, stop. <laughs> we could in the future roll, uh, 
Blank card anything. You know, blank card Hierophant, blank card uh, Degas Rune. Blank card Yera is obviously like an old combo that everybody likes. It's another Balls of Steel, I think, and that's a chemical peel. This might be a uh, lucky pill generation taking me over the top here. I mean, now we're at seven spirit arts. No bonds. Uh, and no tinted rocks anyway. And obviously I'm hoping for like uh, another deal with the devil if we can get one this early. I doubt it'll happen, but might as well give it a shot. Infamy for free, also great. And here's uh, our first blank card fool coming into play. Gain a heart and a half instead of half or uh, instead of one heart there. So again, all this stuff is starting to add up pretty nicely here. Still no money, of course, but what do you need money for when you got, uh, you know, spirit hearts coming out of your butthole? This would sincerely be an amazing opportunity for us to get a deal with the devil. I don't know if ceremonial robes changes your deal with the devil chance. Like, it is sin up. You'd think it might, but... We can anecdotally um, perform a small test on it. It won't necessarily prove anything, but... Could at least give us some influence. Or an idea. Pretty fly, alright. I've been taking pills willy-nilly because I'm kind of like, well, it's unlikely to backfire on us as much as it has helped us so far, so... Oh my god, it's another Balls of Steel pill! I mean, it's a bit of a compromise because we'd much rather have the Hierophant card, but hey, man. I'm not going to sweat it here. Should not have stood there, but Pretty Fly saved my ass. And we're not too far away from the boss rush timing here, if we can get it right. Another key for the next floor because we sure as hell aren't doing anything with it on this floor. Now, here is an item we have pretty much no use for unless we do. And the, the way that we will get that is if we get a, a, a Dark Bomb. It'll be incredible. Or if we end up, you know, respawning with Lazarus Rags or something, I guess we could make use of it. But that's pretty unlikely to happen, even though now I've willed it into existence by saying it's pretty unlikely to happen. Damage is looking okay. Obviously, you know, there's room to grow. Come on, deal with the devil. I did get a deal. I could take anything here. Uh, I will take everything here. Now, we gotta remember, we're not gaining this much HP. So we can't just afford to throw it away willy-nilly. But both of those were big damage upgrades for us that I'm super happy to have. Both plus one, I think? So I think now our damage is, uh... Oh, thank you, Infamy. Man, we're getting crazy good luck, actually. Um, now our damage is something to be uh, feared rather than complaining about. That last floor was really just like a staggering amount of good luck stacked up all at once. One spirit heart means this room is paid for itself, even if we, uh... Well, even when we, uh... Don't get anything out of our red chest. The only thing that's a little shitty is the fact that our shots are smaller as a result of Dark Matter, but um, as long as Dark Matter, you know, gives us that extra damage, I think it's well worth it. It's a good thing, you know, I've been talking to Cobalt Streak a lot more because he's on the Wednesday's uh, NLSSs that we're doing. So I get a chance to ask, uh, you know, one of the best Isaac players in the world how he feels about all these items, and I'm, I'm learning a lot, actually. I feel like it's really helped kick my game up to the next level, if I do say so myself, to, to be able to be like, Hey, Cobal, you know, everyone's on my ass about Isaac's heart. What do you think about it? And he's like, oh, don't listen to them. Isaac's heart is trash. And I'm like, thank you, you know, host of Balls of Steel, two-time boiler winner, Cobalt Streak. Owner of a, you know, 200x Eden uh, streak. That really, I really appreciate that. That takes a lot of the pressure off me. Thank you very much. Now I don't feel so much pressure to be like, well, all right, let's try to use Isaac's heart this time. I recognize, by the way, that there's Tinted Rocks that... Believe you me, I would love to access. I haven't really had the opportunity to do so because I keep killing the things that could blow them up and save me uh, some trouble. Oh, it would be so good. Three tinted rocks, you got to be thinking there's a half decent chance of small rock being inside one of those. All right, so we got dark one. Makes me think I have lump of coal because of the, the hue of our shots, but look, at our damage is solid, man. It's kind of coming to a put up or shut up moment here. Um, oh, is one of those a library? It must be. Kind of coming to a put up or shut up moment here with uh, Boss Rush. Like, we can get a minute ahead if we just leave now, but we definitely want to go to our item room, and I'd like to get some more bombs if possible. That's just a spirit heart, but that's okay. What am I doing? What am I doing? There you go. Pick up some bombs, man. That is the kickstart my heart right there, if we can get that going. Alright, we should check out that library as well. You never know what could be inside of it. I'm hoping to find as many, like, boss trap rooms as possible. As well. And mob trap rooms. They're free, man. We just walk in, take what we want, and uh, we're good to go. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay. Let's start this up. This is our big one, because we get the chest out of it as well. And perfect. We even got another consumable out of it regardless. Maggie's Faith is better than nothing. Now, this should be our shop. 
usually the um, the one that's furthest away from the spawn is the shop. The one that's closest is the library, assuming it is a library. All right, HP has been completely sorted. Uh, let's go check this out. You know, we got four keys. I could use a Book of Shadows. I could use a Blank Card, Two of Spades, Blank Card Hermit. Blank Card Hermit is better than Blank Card Fool. Um, but I kind of feel like Blank Card, Two of Spades is what we want to roll with here for a while. Because it doesn't look like we're doing boss rush anyway. So I feel like being able to get the 99 keys and still have the flexibility to take a different card with us later is probably going to be better. Um, and now, of course, immediately after we find out that we can just get into this room and teleport right out if we want to. I'm just going to do it. We'll get whatever the consumables are for finishing it. I forgot that we have to fight one of the... I'm not going to say tougher enemies, but you know what I mean. One of the uh, tankier enemies, at least. And it's not a shameful thing to say that Mega Fatty's one of the tougher enemies, I guess. He's a little tricky. We should have just teleported out of here, unless we end up getting, like, a sweet chest or something like that. As a result of our, uh, our efforts here. But this is an, also a way of me kind of forcing my own hand and saying, like, okay, now we can't do Boss Rush. Which is probably good for business, for me to be staying away from stuff like that. And we get some practice, you know, with our, uh, with our newfound abilities here. I've not been doing this much damage for very long, so it feels solid. That was a very sloppy dodge. It should never have come to that. Alright, what else do I want on this run? Honestly, like, Flatworm? I know it sounds weird, but uh, if I could get Flatworm and as a result have a bigger hitbox on my tiers, it would make it easier for me to hit things. Obviously, that didn't work out quite as uh, anticipated. That's okay. Nothing wrong with it. And there's our item room. It would be nice to kill... Uh, well, let's be honest, it's not going to be too likely. I was like, we've got to kill one of these guys near the uh, chest, and the other one has to clear a path for us to the chest. Pretty unlikely. We did get one bomb out of this guy, though. Sack of pennies is not particularly strong. Not even going to use a bomb there. Just get out of here. I think this is fine. Um... Yeah, how could I be mad about this situation? What could be greater than golf with the gator? Next floor, we probably have a deal with the devil, and we're really not missing too, too much here to make this work. Nine lives would be very tricky because it does take all our HP away. As Blue Baby, I know that seems strange. You're like, no, it should... No, it should, if you have spirit arts, it won't affect you. No, it... Trust me. As long as we are Blue Baby, it will take all of our spirit arts away. Which I actually think is better balanced. Like, imagine if you were playing as Blue Baby, and uh, you picked up nine lives, and then it gave you another Spirit Heart. The same way it gives you a Red Heart if you if you have zero or one, uh, playing as other characters. I mean, it, this kind of, like, breaks immersion in some sense. It doesn't, like, make game sense, but at the same time, I think from a balance standpoint, it makes nine lives a much more interesting item as Blue Baby. So maybe it's a, a sensical, or a nonsensical choice made to benefit game balance, which I think is, uh, you know, probably a net positive. We're up to 10 keys here. We're going to get to 99, and it, it should happen this floor. Then we can replace it with basically any other trinket we want. Uh, we could even take the Fool back if we get it, which would be fine, honestly. The Fool uh, is really good, but I feel like it's worth sacrificing it, or at least the chance to sacrifice it, in order to get 99 keys. Skeleton key is so good. If we get Guppy's Tail, we'll be able to open all this stuff. We could, Like, why not open this? Sure, it's going to set us back a little bit. And... Uh, and cause us to take damage, but... <laughs> oh, that was so stupid of me! That's not the game's fault. That one's 100% on me, but... I was like, we did it! Mm, not quite, you know? You celebrated before the job was done, you, you mad Hasselbeck. Oh, excuse me. Thank you. If you could just stop. You're not supposed to move. There's a set formula for this sort of stuff. Dark Bomb, man. Dark Bomb will be so nice. We got so many red hearts dropping. If the red hearts are dropping, dark bombs are knocking. That's what I always said growing up. And we can really uh, get rid of two of spades pretty much when we hit like 25 keys. Because when we hit 25 keys, we will uh, use blank card, we'll get to 50, and then we'll use the two of spades key and we'll get to 99. So we're only a couple of doublings away from that, honestly. 18 to 36, and then, you know, 36 to 72, but. That's a little ridiculous. Where did we get that? Oh, the Eternal Heart came from uh, Maggie's Faith, of course. Of course. Uh, I hate this room. Like, a lot. Any damage I can do to these guys is good in my books, man. 
Come the fudge on. And of course my black card is like 12 back there. I had to lose like all of my HP to make this work. Thank you, Fear Shot. Uh, actually could have gone worse. Now we have two bombs. I think we do look for uh, a better card. Just because you never know. It could be uh, tucked away in one of these. Obviously it was not. It's foolish of me to even ask. Where's the... There we go. What? Okay, I call 100% bullshit on that. The hands all came down at the same time on the same spot and like pushed each other over to me. What am I supposed to do about that? That's damage I should have taken there. That's my bad, but what am I supposed to do about that situation? Be further away? Okay, that's very sensible. You must be the most popular kid in your school. I'm just saying... You know, okay, I shouldn't have taken that out on you, you know, you had a good head on your shoulders, but at the same time, it is bullshit nonetheless, you know, enemies, we, we've signed a contract game, the enemies behave in expected ways, and then I come up with ways to surmount that, and you have forsaken that contract, we will take guillotine. It's not guillotine northern line, it's guillotine? Yeah, why don't you go have yourself a, a dang uh, quesadilla, you can make it with some tortillas, I recognize that they come from different languages, I'm just saying. You know, you, you I don't be like, uh, don't take that the wrong way. You know, if you want to anglicize some words, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, we all uh, you say Paris instead of Paris, and I think that's a positive change for us as uh, as a society because, you know, the French accents are not necessarily uh, our strong suit here in North America, depending on where you are, of course. You know, I don't want to generalize Quebec or Acadia or Louisiana or anything like that. I'm just saying. Um, but just don't get mad at the people that do say it like guillotine the the proper way it's not really like trying to be snooty it's just the way that it's the way that I grew up saying it Guppy's head is good is it better than blank card with all the potential fixins we got going for it no of course not don't be ridiculous however I'm happy to have gotten it it is a cat piece and uh, takes us closer and please pick up blank card thank you takes us closer to being able to actually use um well, to be to being able to be Guppy. I'll admit, losing more HP than I'd like to lose here. You know what would be a, an ideal item for us right now? It's a little dangerous, but also amazing. Uh, is uh, maybe you've heard of it, Mom's knife? No, I'm joking. Um, though it, I would take it in a heartbeat if it showed up. Uh, BFF, BFF guillotine allows our head to start doing amazing damage. Of course, it puts us at risk as well, because we can only really hit enemies when we get right up next to them. You know, we make ourselves vulnerable to hit the enemies, but uh, its I think it's worth it. I would do it. Let's put it that way. Alright, so i got to internalize that I am i am the guppy man now. Or not the guppy, sorry, I am the guillotine man now. So I want to use my head to do as much damage as possible. Ideally, without doing that. Thank you, though, to, uh, to Gimpy for paying out regardless. Saving me from complete indignity. I'm just gonna, yeah. We're gonna completely uh, nuke it there, get rid of two of spades. Thank you to two of spades for taking us from like four keys to 99. Very much appreciated. Necropolis one, so we can totally do this. I wouldn't necessarily recommend what I'm doing here. But at the same time, it is hard to argue with the results, isn't it? Anytime we get him feared, I think he becomes a little bit more predictable, he says, as he takes damage. But that's okay. One Spirit Heart to finish that off fast is fine. Uh, where's our deal with the Devil? I'm starting to think that Ceremonial Robes might not actually increase your deal with the Devil chances that much. Maybe I've been uh, taken for a lark. Can you let me go into this room, please? Thank you. Yes, I was getting a little perturbed, game. You were perturbing me. That did feel like a second secret room. Had to bungle it a little bit. Hmm. Lovely. Yeah, this is where I wanted to be. Definitely, like, the six times in a row I moved left, I want to go down to the boss fight. Do we need 22 cents to make this work? And we can't get it. So, as much as this might blow your fucking mind, we're buying Humbling Bundle instead. Instead of Steam Sale plus Humbling Bundle, which would not have worked. But we could have gotten the Spirit Hearts. Oh well. Down to the next floor. We've gained another Spirit Heart as a result of Maggie's Faith as well. Definitely banking on a deal with the devil on this floor. Very sad that we've not gotten one yet. Red chests. Uh, well, you know, what's the point of having 99 of these bad boys if you're not going to use them? What's an ideal card for us? Well, I mean, like, long-term Hierophant Emperor 
Sun is not that good. Uh, there's some runes, though. Algiz would be amazing. Um, even a death card or a, a judgment card is always a lot of fun when you can get the resources necessary to make it work. Um, I would almost like just a brief interlude if you could give me two of clubs for a little while. Just so we can get up to 99 bombs. Like, our damage is not uh, anything to write home about right now. So just to have the extra added insurance of having some bombs... Feel pretty good. Barring that, we're a little low on uh, on options right now. I would welcome a devil card. Pretty much whatever has to happen to, to give me more damage here is fine by me. I mean, our damage is not bad, and the guillotine raised it, and all sorts of things are going positive for us right now. It's just a little bit touch and go anyway. We're lacking, like, those super go-to items. I mean, you're watching me fight Monstro 2 here. You know I'm not blowing smoke up your ass. Look at the length of time it's taken us to kill a boss who should have gone down ages ago. Finally, finally, finally. So, <laughs> I guess it's fair to say that we were probably in the right to get rid of our... Um, oh, that's potentially good. In the right to get rid of that fool card. It was not going to save us uh, from having to do boss rush because we're not going to have the opportunity to do boss rush. Now, HP is okay. Uh, I will sacrifice one to come in here. One of those is 48 hour energy? Are you a wizard? 48 hour energy. We might as well carry 48 hour energy. Uh, it might seem like that was bad, but it could pay for itself really quickly with a, you know, a, a Hierophant card or a Degazarune or something. Oh, it's so hard to line it up with the amount of speed we've got and like the size of my hitbox. It's, it's very risky. Consumable game's going good though. Oh, you know what? I would reroll this run in a heartbeat. I don't think it's... Uh, Likely to turn into a loss, but I've said that before. I've been right fairly consistently lately, but still. Two keys for four bombs. Absolutely acceptable trade. While we're here... Yeah, that seemed like a good idea at the time. And uh, in hindsight, now I feel a little silly. Other things that I would welcome on this run. Shot speed. I don't know why our shot speed seems so bad, but... It's not feeling particularly good right now. I mean, the fact that we can't do anything on this room is freaking me out a little bit. And I'm getting a little nervous. I'll, I'll explain to you why. It's, this, it's the Krampus, uh, you know, chain down the drain, as I like to call it. I've definitely not just coined that phrase right now. It's uh, low deals with the devil and not so amazing deals with the devil, although we've had decent luck with them. Um, followed by a deal with the devil. <gasps> salvation, only it's not salvation because Krampus is waiting inside of there. And you know what? He's not even going to give you lump of coal. He's giving you the old... Uh, Krampus's head action. We will take Rosary. The extra spirit hearts, um, it doesn't really matter how valuable they are. What matters is that we can't make them ourselves, so we need them. Even though it'll cost us, obviously, uh, when it comes to the Bible showing up, which should, it could show up at least on the next, uh, deal with the devil, which would be very disappointing for me for reasons that are, I'm assuming, pretty obvious. Um, we're, we can go a few floors without being in too much danger, I'll admit. But, uh, you know, we're getting down into the nitty-gritty here. I wish I could fly. That was... My brain thought I could fly there. No greed. Oh, it's real bad. Okay, so we can't even donate on this run. I was really hoping for, like, a BFF situation. No BFF situation. Steps two. Now, the Polaroid is going to be a huge help. And blank card devil. I don't really think there's much point in using uh, two of spades on this, but blank card devil at least is good. Like, it gives me an out. Okay. Okay. Could be worse. Could be worse. I wish I could see our HP because I have taken a little more damage than I'd like to admit here. This is pin. Pin's not so bad, but we can expedite the process quite a lot. That's okay. I don't really care. As long as you stay away, life is... Life is but a dream! How did all three of you get over here? We're, uh, thank you, infamy. Ah, sh shit. There's not supposed to be three of you over here. One of you is supposed to consistently stay on the other side of the screen where you can't cause me any trouble. There you go. You, you've made it back to your home. I'm very happy for you. Well, our damage with the devil is, is really good here. It's gotta land, though. 57. I wish we could do anything with that money, but, uh, barring that, I guess <laughs> I'm still happy to have it 
ish. Guillotine will be really good on the mom fight as well, but man, we are. Uh, I, mean, I know I don't have the devil card ready for this. I'm just choosing to go through it regardless rather than backtrack. Oh, and anytime we can get. This is like actually my dream come true right here. More feet, please. There we go. Oh, we get some extra damage in there. It's perfect! Oh, I, I, I blew it, but Gimpy paid out. Okay, we do get a deal with the devil. I don't know how much HP we have, but we've surely got to have enough to take free items. Now we're in the fucking danger zone, dog. Because Krampus could show up in our next deal with the devil if we even get one. And then we're in a real tricky spot. Uh, we still have like 11 and... Well, no, 10 and a half HP. No, 9 and a half. 9 and a half, still. <sighs> How am I missing every single enemy I'd like to hit? There we go. We got one. Take him out. Take him out. Take him out. Scary. But we made it. Probably a room worth using the devil on. This is a, an all-important floor. You know, we... <laughs> we're actually in a surprisingly tricky situation. Sure. Permanent Polaroid invincibility does help out. We're looking for tinted rocks, man. That bomb was not placed adequately to do the job I, I assigned it, and that's on me. Anytime we can get some extra shots in there is great. I don't see this run going too well on the cathedral in the chest. Oh, that's my own idiocy there. If we can't get uh, some damage ups, like, what are we supposed to do on this run? Give me Dr. Fetus, maybe that'll sort it out. You know what would actually be amazing here is just like a regular familiar. <laughs> would not mind it. We got two of you? Two of you. Two, three of you? Three of you, okay. Like a sacrificial dagger would make my dreams come true right now. This is a... Uh, it's weird because we've got a lot more HP than we've had on several blue baby runs in the past. Oh, jeez. Um, but it's weirdly scarier, I think, as a result of the fact that was a lucky room, and that's balls of steel. It's weirdly scarier, like, as a result of the fact that we can't replenish our HP, and the writing is like on the wall ish. Ah, I'm very sorry, but that did raise our deal with the devil chances. As much as I would have loved to have played you for HP, or compass for that matter, yeah, that would have been good. Oh well. Oh, well. Bad time for a charge. Oh, I like that, though. All right, maybe that's our technique, is we, we make enemies afraid, and if they're stationary, we just destroy them. Like this? Mm, a little, little risky on that one. That guy was not as afraid as I thought he was. He wasn't on Discovery Channel's flagship show, Naked and Afraid. Instead, he was on, like, you know, naked and, like, a little anxious. Tell you what, this is a dead end. So we're gonna say goodbye. I think that was well worth the bomb investment. I think this room is not worth the, uh... The Devil card. To be straight with you. I think it's probably, you know, a situation where we can just take out these blast assists fairly easily ourselves. Uh, I've taken like six hits, but they've all been to the face, so strangely enough, that's actually a good thing now. That is a block. I'm still happy with all our pickups. You know, I know there's going to be people who are like, oh, you know, this is why you don't take the guillotine. The guillotine might be one of the few items keeping us uh, competitive here. It's really just a lack of kind of over-the-top goodness that's that's hurting us. You know, our item ups, or sorry, our damage ups, our ceremonial robes. Um, the mark, not bad. Dark Matter, not bad, but that's the problem, is that they're all just consistently not bad. Sure, enough not bads adds up to pretty darn good, but it takes a lot more. One amazing would, <laughs> would really help out. As would, you know, like, a single one of these enemies dying in less than 100 shots. Because, I don't know if you can see this, but the other side is, like, starting to work their way over here. Freaking me out a little bit with your, you know, whirly birds. Okay, this is okay. Just keep him at bay. 
Got nothing to worry about. This is a dead end we can... Oh, I got hit. <laughs> it's a dead end we can work with, though. Our HP is still looking relatively solid, though. It's all about this boss fight, man. Gonna get hit? Nope. Pulled out at the last second. Still kind of, like, trapped in hell here. We snuck it out! Oh, God. Now kill the other one. We're okay? We're okay. Okay, watch out for creep. I think we're gonna do this. Man, our, even our range is kind of shitty, though. I can't believe we didn't get hit there. I also can't believe we're not getting any spirit hearts dropped, but, uh, you know, I guess that's another question for another day. Should we be looking for secret rooms? Maybe. Kind of feel like bombs are so valuable that I... I'm saving him to bomb ourselves out of, like, an envy room, which would just be a complete shit show. Okay, one down. Too close. There's a champion still. I think. No? Okay. There's a red chest. I kind of feel like I gotta do it, but I might want to save up for a room. Get that, uh... Delicious devil card. Help. <laughs> Send help. I didn't get hit there? Okay. Um, oftentimes this room will have a tinted rock. Not this time. That's okay. Shit happens, I suppose. Is it worth going for this room? I don't know, man. Maybe we keep it going this way just to see if... Oh. Uh, well, let's try to get through this one. Just run. I'm I'm not happy with this run right now. Come on, some Balzo steals. Random Hierophant card drop. Death drop. Sun card. Anything. <laughs> These rooms. I hate them. I'd rather fight the boss. Oh, thank God we got the nickel here. It's very effective for us. Okay, so this is something I am excited about. I'm very happy about this room. Gotta soften these guys up. If we try, like... Our head is not big enough to fit back there. Damn you, caffeine pill! Were it not for you, we might be able to execute that amazing plan. Alright, let's see who we're fighting first. It's Blast Assist. I think that Blast Assist, while not incredibly simple, depending on your items... Um, may actually be the right choice for us to not use, that was dumb, for us to not use our Joker card. And by Joker, I mean Devil. And instead, we could use it on that mob trap room. Should have blown up more skulls, man. I mean, we're in, like, shoulda, coulda, woulda territory here, but... Got no mapping. Pretty low damage. No ability to fly. A semi-decent deal with the Devil Chance here as a result of blowing up that, uh, Judgment. And uh, just a hope that we get, like, Magic Mushroom or Torn Photo or something from this guy. Oh, my shit. Oh, lord. Okay. Fortune Teller. Oh, you dicks. You dicks. That is not like, I'm calling you dicks. That is, I'm saying, you, you know, you are dicks. That is you, what you relate to in life. There's the Bible. Oh, fantastic. At 92 cents, you know what would be perfect right now? What, Suzanne? Oh, it would be perfect if we picked up, uh, store credit. You know, there aren't any shops left in the game. Oh, that's uh, precisely the point. That's what makes it so good. So the Bible. The Bible gives us the ability to fly. What purpose could that serve at this moment? What an interesting question. I'm glad you asked. Uh, zero. Zero purpose. Except, people, after I had that amazing Dr. Fetus run, people tweeted me and were like, NL. Good run. Good, most exciting run I've ever seen you do. But by the way, did you know you can kill the Bible, or you can use mom's, uh, <laughs> kill mom's heart with the Bible? Yes, I, I am aware. I might have had a brain fart in the moment. Did you know that killing mom's heart is not necessarily the number one priority uh, when you look for good traits in a uh, spacebar item? Oftentimes you look for maybe some better survivability, not just can you kill a boss that has a very specific set of patterns in one hit. Now, admittedly, it might have helped us out a little bit because, uh, we wouldn't have had to do anything. We could have just taken our other space bar item back with us. I'm just, the number of tweets that I've gotten that are like, did you know that this works this way? I'm like, yes, I know. I'm getting overly salty, though. But it's like the in office space, you know, when you, the Peter forgets to put the cover on the memo and then, like, a hundred people come and talk to him because they don't think anybody's talked to him yet. Is, could this be a tinted rock? 
It was not. Shit, dog. Uh, this is real bad. Down to the next floor. Guppy Dream is not intact. Please give me golden chest so I can get stacked. Curse of the Lost is like... Well, the only thing that sucks about it is we don't know what rooms are... Um, what rooms are big rooms. I'm scared. I'm actually like... This is yet another run where it looks like the streak could possibly end. Yeah, fine. Whatever. As many bombs as you want, dog. Or as many keys as you want. I don't know why I felt like that would be a big room. It was not. And that's very good. Don't forget about the devil card. That could end up being pretty enormous. I don't think we can go to our curse room. As much as it pains me. If we find a teleport card, I would... Definitely consider it. This is our spawn room. I don't even want to, like, give these guys the attention they so crave. Because it's fucked up. Now, that guy's going to come off of fear soon, and unfortunately, I I knew that it was going to happen, but I didn't know what to do about it, and that is uh, only one HP down. Only one HP down, I think. I didn't get hit the second time. Okay, 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 that's good. Come on, here a font card, here a font card, here a font card. Swallowed Penny. Just an exercise in shit that is, like, not at all useful. Ah! Oh! oh, this is real nasty. Those are not red chests! Oh! Oh, okay. Hold it together. Hold it together. We've been in situations that have looked this dire before. This is not some guillotine shit. Guillotine, I'll admit. Is not helping um, our cause to not get hit directly. However, it's giving us damage, which indirectly causes us to get hit a lot less often. This is just um, a relatively low set of damage, causing some serious problems. Definitely cannot afford to take damage in that fashion. What do we do? Well, we fucking desperately look for tinted rocks is one thing, that's for sure. This one's starting to come undone here. It's good. Just hold it. Hold it together. If only we'd gotten the relic instead of one of these shitty items, man. What does Super Lust give us? Poison Touch? There's a Tinted Rock. Holy shit. One Spirit Heart. Oh, thank you, Benevolent Lord of Lords, for the One Spirit Heart. Your bounty shall now be soon forgotten. Will you be my hero? Seriously, man. I'm a little salty. Do I have that right? Can I be a little salty? Can I talk my shit again? I don't know. What, yeah, okay. What can you give me here? Oh, lovely. Um, maybe we can get our way out of here. Save some rooms. With my luck, we're probably skipping like a library or something like that. Oh, that was fun. Let's do that again in a 0.2 seconds when these guys come back around this way. <laughs> oh, fucking <laughs> infamy. You're the real hero, man. Fuck the tinted rocks. Take infamy out of the equation and we are done. This room is like the... Revenge of that red poop room from that Dr. Fetus run. I think it was 583. You know the one. Well, I was not... I wasn't scared at all of that room. What's to be scared of? Alright, now let's have exactly the same kind of room. But with an enemy with an even more unpredictable shot. Although we've taken them out already. Mom's heart is going to be a, a GD nightmare. Absolutely. I can't believe I didn't get hit there. I just basically held tight to the controller or the keyboard and was like, okay, we're fine. Okay, okay. You know what would have been great on this run? Uh, Book of Shadows. I'm realizing now. Shouldn't have forsaken Book of Shadows, man. But at the time, I was like, blank cards way more fun. And what are the odds that this ends up being, you know, the scariest run I've ever done? Probably pretty low. I like fighting the husk. The husk is usually pretty pretty easy. 
I don't want to, you know, jinx myself. I'm just saying. Tends to be fairly simple. Arcade, huh? Well, I think we got to go in there. There is a way that this wins us the game. If there is a uh, fortune teller in there and it doesn't explode right away or it explodes right away into a crystal ball, I think we got a pretty good chance. You know what? At least we get to donate some money. You know, that's the... That's the thing we always forget about in these trying times, is the donation machine. If you call out my name... Sing it with me, everybody. And you know wherever I am, I come running. That was good enough. To see you again. Oh, yes! Winter, spring, summer, or fall. All you gotta do is come. And I'll be there, yes I will, took a doom, you got a friend. But we don't actually have any friends in this run, of course. We just have um, our own wits, and we're alone in the universe. But, uh, you know. Ah! We got so close to making that one work. Oh, you fucking, you fucking dick, man. We gotta be getting so close. To the uh, to the mom's heart fight that I don't want to I don't want to take a chance here, you know I don't I don't want to use our uh... stop him stop him stop him I don't want to use our uh, our devil card and then not have it and I don't think we need to on this room we just need to use like our noggin in ways that our noggin has never been used before I did not, I did not, I did not get hit. It's a Christmas miracle in July. Better go back and get that money. You never know if maybe money equals power shows up. I can't believe I'm t still two-shotting dips. That's how you know your damage is not great. How do we fix it? Well, anecdotally, I feel like there's more... Tinted rocks on the cathedral than there are on the womb. At least I find them easier to notice. So it's pretty simple, really. We just pick up a small rock, and uh, then we get infinite spirit hearts. That was my own fault, admittedly. I can't, can't fault the game on that one. I'm nervous, and on the surface I don't look calm and ready. I'm on showered, and it's late in the day for that to be uh, respectable. As usual, I am. Uh, a little stinky, a little sweaty, unwashed, and just praying for a damage upgrade. It's fucking somewhere. Please. I didn't mean to, but it worked. Oh, you fucker! You fucker! Sorry, be cool. Be cool. Hold the line. Love is in always on time. Oh, oh, oh. This is actually, I can't believe how many times I've said this in the past few days, this is the scariest run we've ever had. And it's fucking entirely thanks to our low ass damage. Not the low end theory, that's a, a landmark De La Soul album. This is our low ass damage, setting a new landmark for all the wrong reasons. You don't routinely expect... What? That pretty much killed us. For fuck's sake, don't get hit there. So we're going to have two HP left on the next floor. hi <laughs> Wow. Uh, how do we do it? Balls of steel? Balls of steel, balls of steel, does whatever the balls can feel. Spins a web, no they can't, you're thinking of spider's friend. Look out, please give me a balls of steel. The streak has been a lot of fun, this run, not so much. Doesn't rhyme, fudge yourself, don't do that, I love you all. Look out, give me a balls of steel. Oh, wow, oh, wow. I don't remember what losing feels like. 
You want it, you fucking cowards? If you want it, come and claim it. If you want it, come and claim it. I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready for this. Don't let the guillotine be the defining item. Don't let the sun go down on me. Steam sail? Steam sail? Oh! Oh ho ho. That's not Black Lotus. It's obviously not gonna be up there, but. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm I'm extremely scared. Yo, we can't fly, dog. That's a little fucked up. Not sure if you realize this, but what you're doing is a little fucked up based on the fact that I can't fly, and you're very much inhibiting my mo my mobility here. Is he strong? Listen, bub. No, he's not. Thanks for asking. Kind of a sore subject. One mom's knife away from being wrecked. Look at Spirit hearts. You fucking dicks. <laughs> I don't want to do a big room now. Yes. Yes. Crawl space. I did just want to make sure I'm placing the bomb properly. Ah! Yes! <laughs> ah! I... Oh! It's so maddening, man. And I'm not talking about John. Well, we need to live here. Ideally, at least. No freaking spirit hearts. All the live long day. No freaking anything. Oh my god, I almost had my heart hit me in the chest there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, spirit heart. Come on, come on, come on, come on, two bombs. <sighs> I'm losing my mind right now. I don't think we have two hits. I think we only have one. I think you get two on the chest like this. It's like a weird idiosyncrasy of the game. We can't afford to do that room. So we have to do a big room. This may be the right choice. There are no tinted rocks, because of course there's not any tinted rocks. Don't be silly. Man, I really would just love, like, one of those shitty damages that I took to come back to me. Probably should not have stood there. I'm freaking out. We gotta cool it a little bit. Like... I can't get these guys in a line. Jesus Christ, just stay stay in a line. As soon as I hit them, they turn, man. Drop a spirit heart, you goddamn teases. You're gonna ruin my life. I'm losing years of my life right now. Can we just not? There were days where I would knock out like 12 Isaac runs and they would all be super kind and really nice to me. We get days like this. This is, well, actually, yesterday was like this as well. We're getting so many freaking shit runs that are just super dangerous. I had to check for second secret rooms, like wherever they're available. I should have been hit there. I should be dead right now. Or at least down to one Eternal Heart, but I don't think the Eternal Heart stays alive here. My math went correctly. What do you think? Do you want to fight this guy or do you want to get the hell out of here? I think we got a bolt. Ah! No, I'm not ready. Remind me later. Remind me later. Double key room. How fitting. We need to keep both of these guys on the screen. I, I had to. That's the end of the streak. Ugh, it hurts. I'm, I'm feeling it leave my body right now. Mega Gluttony made it happen. I restarted. <laughs> my mistake. Um, there you go. Oh, okay, now we're going to start with like a negative one streak. It's been great, you guys. The streak has been a whole lot of fun. I didn't think it would ever come to this. Double digits was awesome. I think next we're going to start with uh, Eden streaks. It hurts to lose it, man, especially so close to two months. But uh, for now... 
Thanks for watching. That was one hell of a run. I think that seed is beatable, but for now, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Let's build it back up.